a form of Mahakala, the, the form of Mahakala with one face and two arms, and this is called Chatur Buja. Chatur here means four, Buja means arms. Now, th there's really six principal forms of Mahakala that we find, and they're really um, identified by uh, very much by appearance. They are the Panjanata, the Chatur Buja, Chatur Mukha, Shadbuja Bhagavan, and Radrantika. These, these are the main ones. There are also categories, and, and each of these uh, named Mahakalas has many different forms um, that are um, categorized under, under that name. Now, Chaturbhuja with one face and four arms. This we find primarily uh, in art. We find it with painting. We find it associated uh, very much with uh, uh, Chakrasambhara, the meditational deity. Panjanata Mahakala we commonly find with, with Hevadra. The Chaturmukha Mahakala we find with Guya Samaja. So there are relationships between Mahakala, different forms of Mahakala, and uh, different meditational deities. Uh, and, and these belong to the Sarma traditions, the, the new tantras uh, of India that went to Tibet. Now, Chaturbhuja is a typical Mahakala in terms of appearance, uh, blue-black in color, very wrathful bone ornaments, uh, bulging eyes, uh, a, a, a lolling tongue, and, and a, a mouth wide open and gaping. So, with this Chaturbhuja, we can find a solitary aspect, um, and that solitary aspect is... Uh, it, it can have several variations of appearance, and this is why, uh, in, in my mind, Chaturbhuja is a little bit more complicated than some of the other forms of Mahakala, because we get various uh, appearances that look similar but aren't, and there, it's very crucial to make a distinction uh, in terms of making a proper identification. So, we, we have a solitary uh, Chaturbhuja, but then we have a uh, 50-chapter Tantra um, Mahakala where he has a retinue of four figures. We have, um, we have him where, where his two main hands are, are holding uh, in the right is a curved knife, in the left a skull cup. Uh, and this one actually comes from Nagarjuna. Then we have him holding in the right hand, rather than a curved knife, a coconut, a coconut uh, fruit, a coconut shell. Uh, fully in the round. And um, this this is said to come down from uh, the tradition of Intrabhuti. Then we have uh, some forms where, where he's holding a heart in his right hand instead of the curved knife, <clears throat> and then also embracing a consort. So we, we have these these changes in attributes in the hands which can appear very uh, minor, but it changes completely the tradition. It can also be very difficult with painting and sculpture to identify the difference between a heart in the right hand and a coconut in the right hand. So, this makes it more complicated. Now, uh, aside from that, we also have different numbers of retinue figures in, uh, in the mandala. Uh, we have to recall that with Mahakala, he can be both a protector deity and, in the highest level of Tantra, also a meditational deity. So the, these uh, um, very popular forms of Mahakala, the Panjanata, Chaturbhuja, Chaturmuka, they can all be uh, meditational deities with uh, generation stage yoga, perfection stage yoga, veins and airs, and uh, uh, yoga practices, uh, trulkor, yantra yoga practices. So, the Chaturbhuja is, is, uh, can be tricky to identify uh, properly as to what tradition, what lineage it comes from. And then we have a few other various sort of um, minor, I call them minor Chaturbhuja Mahakalas because they're not practiced widely. We don't have a lot of commentaries on them, and they're, they're maintained more as a simple practice and an initiation and a, and a simple uh, practice. And these are like the, uh, the red... Um, uh, 
Chaturbhuja that holds a, 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 a bone trumpet. Uh, then there's another one, uh, Chaturbhuja, where he has a, a, an attendant, um, a consort named Chandika. Uh, so we, we do have some others. And we have some traditions of Mahakala where, where you actually have uh, the one face form of Mahakala appearing in the mandala of another form of Mahakala. So, so there are some complexities, but there is a lot of art. There is a lot of painting and a lot of sculpture of Chaturbhuja Mahakala.